January of 1981, the Southeastern Conference was officially open for business. One of the first things that we did when we began the new conference was to hire several young pastors. Among them was Elder C.L. Matthews. Pastor Matthews spent eight years working in the Thomasville, Georgia, Quitman, Georgia, Alaska, Georgia district before going south to work in Florida City, Key West. From there, he became director of youth for the Southeastern Conference and served two terms. While he was working with youth in the Southeastern Conference, he organized the ministry that we see witness here today, Rescue of Love. Directed primarily at young people and young adults who were working out their relationship with the church and seeking an understanding of the covenant that Christ wanted to make with them. If you've ever been 17, 19, 22, 25, 30, you do know that things are not always clear at that time in your life. Oh, you think you know where you're going. You've got a lot of ideas about how it ought to be done. But the reality of life has a way of setting you back and sometimes causing you to think that it really is not worth it to go forward. And along comes somebody like Pastor Matthews who wants to make you understand that no matter where you have been and what you have done, the love of God is so deep, so rich, so strong, so wide, so high, it can cover all that you ever were or ever hoped. It's my joy to welcome Elder Matthews and the rescue of love today. The rescue of love holds a very special place in my heart because our oldest daughter, our firstborn daughter, went through some of that crisis I alluded to. She is a fourth generation Adventist. She grew up with five Adventist pastors in her family. She is the great, great granddaughter of one of Savannah's renowned Baptist preachers of a long time ago. But she couldn't quite keep it together in terms of what God was supposed to mean in her life. And one day, while she was at the University of South Florida in Tampa, she went on over to a little group of people who gathered together on the campus. That's a gathering of some young people looking for an alternative. She met Pastor Matthews, who reintroduced her. introduced her to Christ. And today, she is a wife and a mother, and it is inspiring to watch her with her children, talking to them about the power of God in their lives. I am indebted to Pastor Matthews for allowing God to be the shepherd that would find that sheep. Seated back here in this choir are a few people who probably should have baptized me. I baptized some of them. And we have grown up together 
in the administration. We welcome them today. Put your hands together. Now I told Pastor Matthews when we covenant to put this program together, this right here is a preaching pulpit. So I told him, don't come up here stepping like me. He said, don't put that pressure on me. I said, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Because we're looking for something from God. I know God gave it to him. So put the bat on the ball and keep the game going. 